If you're seeing smoke coming out of your tailpipe or noticing an oil leak, it's probably time to service your CCV or crankcase ventilation filter. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is disconnect your fuel lines and pull out your fuel filter. Make a mental note which lines go where as they can be different depending on the model year. The CCV has a hose that runs under the intercooler hot pipe and connects to the driver's side valve cover. This can be removed without taking out the intercooler pipe, but it helps to take it out to make extra room. To remove the intercooler pipe on the turbo side, you will need a long flat blade screwdriver. Pry up on the metal retaining clip, then pull out. That's what she said. On the intercooler side, you will need an 11 millimeter to remove the band clamp. Getting a camera angle on the CCV filter bolts was a little tricky, but using your replacement filter for reference, it will show you the bolts locations. Some bolts may be more difficult to get to than others, but using an 8mm and a 10mm deep well socket paired with a swivel and some extensions, it will make getting to them a little easier. Note which bolts came from which hole. After removing those four bolts, along with the hose connection on the valve cover, the CCV filter slides out pretty easy. Finding oil in the valve cover openings is normal, and you can use that oil to lube the seals on your new CCV filter. Drop the new filter in place with the hose coming towards the front of the truck and plug it into the valve cover. Reconnect the intercooler pipe after you bolt in the new CCV filter. We found it easier to connect the turbo side first. Reinstalling the intercooler boot is easiest with a 90 degree pick. Noting which fuel line went to which connection, reinstall your fuel filter. Cycle your key a couple times to prime it. 